Welcome to another open source ecology video on generating G code for your D3D Universal PIM plotter. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is play around with spirographs. So, if you go to GitHub, there is a project that I should have had already pulled up, but um, here we go. So I'm going in there. Oops, not my repositories. My stars. Um, this one here. So um, I'll put a description below. But all you have to do is download the zip file. You can do it using these instructions. And it lets you create very cool images like this. So I'll just demonstrate that real quick. So I have um, it downloaded in my home folder, and when I enter my directory um, and I go into this folder, this is the file that I would click to open. There's only a quick tweak that I made, which is um, I lowered these numbers, and these aren't the perfect numbers, but you'll need to adjust these according to your print area anyway. But um, I'll show you, it's actually the the image that gets generated is um, it's a little bit bigger than this value. I'm sure there's somewhere in the code where that's discussed, but I, um, I set these values to 450 pixel by 450 pixel, these are pixel values. Okay, so when I run, I get a screen somewhat like this, and as I move my cursor, ooh, I actually really like that, so I click save. Alright, um, so there we go. Let's go find that one. They go into this export folder, and as you can see, I made it quite a few. And the one that I just made, let's arrange items by modification date. So, was it this one? Yeah, so this is the, the latest file that I made. And uh, I see the H95. Okay, so now. I go to graphics, Inkscape, because as usual I am using the OSC version 2 of Linux, and I'm going to select new from template, and I'm going to select my generic plotter template, which if you need to know how to make one of those, I have a video on that. And then I'm going to import my new um, file. So, oh, I didn't put it in here yet. Okay, so I need to go. Uh, that's where I usually save my stuff. Um, but today it is still in this folder. I've already forgotten what what that number was. H95. Okay, H95. There we are. So here is the PDF. Um, I'm yet to change any of these settings, and it's worked fine. So like I said, you know, theoretically, this should have fit, but it, it doesn't quite, but it's okay, because what I do is I just press the lock, and and I resize it a little, and it's it works just fine, because, um, you know, it's an SVG. So here we go. So now I have my cool image. First thing I gotta do is I gotta ungroup. I ungroup, and I just keep doing it until this doesn't say group anymore. Well, the next thing I need to do is object to path. So 
once I have it to object to path, now everything's a path. I can now simply save. I can I like to first save as an SVG. I'm gonna call this um Spider Graph 5. So that's my SVG. And then I'll save as G code. And um, these are the settings that I have. Technically, I only use 120 of the X coordinate to account for the offset. All right, so let's open up NC Viewer real quick. And take a look at our file and get it ready for the D3D Universal. So here it is. Um, so I updated my settings here and it looks like it saved interestingly enough like I exited out and then I came back but I've decided to turn all these on um, you can also kind of remove this and it's similar so it's like but I really like that um, one of these made it so that it kind of progressively plots versus like shows everything but that's the kind of setting I like and um, so let's try it out oh well first we're gonna go ahead and um, if you go in there the the code that you make it has everything you need except uh, we recommend adding this auto level and absolute prior to getting started so I'm gonna add that real quick and then let's have a look see wow it kinda makes a star that like goes around you can see the G code on the left so uh... it looks pretty good right so i'm gonna save this G code file over the other decode file that I had and it's ready to go right into the plotter. Thanks for watching.